Okay, so first take the model off the plate. So take your model, and now all you want to do is really just clean up the model a little bit before acetoning it. Maybe you want to sand some of the larger areas if you feel like it, or whatever. But that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to sort out the top bit and maybe inside the lips where where I can see it's not perfect, and that's it. So for this, I'm just going to use um, 180 sandpaper. And um, this is a 240, so that's all I use, like 240 and 180. Alright, so um, <coughs> this is what I've done. I'm just going to give it a little brush off all the residual loose dusted PLA. And there we have it. Um, I've basically just cleared, cleared up the, the mouth section and any kind of faint lining that I saw. Apart from that, not too much. About five minutes worth. And uh, now I'm going to get ready to acetone it, or ethyl acetate. This time I'm just going to use ethyl acetate just to avoid the whitening, and uh, because I've done the acetone videos before. But the acetone um, goes on exactly the same way as the ethyl acetate. Alright, so the next stage you're going to need some ethyl acetate, protective latex gloves, or non-latex gloves I mean, because the latex ones melt. These are like your regular doctor's, surgeon's gloves, I think. And a brush to brush the acetone on, or the ethyl acetate on. So I'll just show you a close-up, roughly, of what this guy looks like at the moment. So this is before any procedures. This is just to show you what sanding I've done, just to roughly uh, highlight what I'm going to be getting rid of. Okay. All right, now I'm going to do the ethyl. Okay, here, all you need to do is basically put, saturate this brush, or the area you're going to touch, with ethyl acetate, and then literally paint it on with one stroke so that you don't wipe off too much residual kind of layers of ethyl acetate, which might take some particles of PLA with it and then leaving your model to crack. So something like this. I literally... There, you can see it already dripping on the table. So I'll take my model. And you want to do this as quickly as possible and try to do only one layer. And that's that. Finished. That's an equivalent of a dip, basically. And look, nothing melts on your hand either. So you're perfectly safe there. You might want to open a window or get a, a mask. The, this I have this mask, but I don't think it does anything. So I've just open the window. Alright, we'll just leave that for a bit. Alright, <clears throat> it's pretty much safe to handle now. Now what I like to do is I get like a little plastic brush, they're really cheap, like a dollar or for like six from China. And then just brush off any weird loose dirt or kind of, I don't know, smooth that. Because sometimes the, um, the acetone or acetate can sit in little crevices and this just nicely, it's almost like, I don't know, a little, does a little rub work, slightly rubs the lines a bit or whatever, I don't know, it's my little ritual that I like to do, just give it a little polish, it's like a pre-polish before I polish it, but as you can see it hasn't gone white, so um, that's what the ethyl acetate does, it keeps the plastic the same colour. Okay, but it can go a little bit white, but the next stage will prevent that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now I just realised a bit my sandpaper was a bit dirty. The dirt on the sandpaper came off on the model, but whatever, it's not too bad. Okay, I'll do a little close-up before I do the polish. 
Okay, so this is what the model is looking like pretty much at the moment. That's what you're kind of going to get. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing, I'd say. So you've got a little bit of dirt inside there as well. That's what the, the brush is good for. Just getting rid of that stuff. Okay. It might get smoother. I've literally, this is literally like two minutes after I've done it. But whatever, I'm I'm fairly happy with that anyway. So yeah, there you have it. Now we're going to get it looking a little bit shinier. Now just to give it a little buff finish, we're going to use some car polish compound. I use Meguiar's um, Ultimate Compound. And um, a little buffing rug. And that's it. Okay, so uh, now we'll get to it. Get your buffing rug, get the polishing compound, just put a little bit onto there, <coughs> and then literally put it on the model, like so, and rub it in. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll do a little close up now. Okay, so um, this is what it kind of looks like afterwards. It's not amazing, but it's nice. It's good enough to paint anyway. It's got a certain, I don't know, solidity to it. Got that nice, I don't know, if you're into the shiny looks and stuff, then you know, it looks almost cast in a weird way. So, um, yeah, that's what it kind of comes out like. That's the back. So, yeah, there you have it. Simple as that, not much effort at all. And yeah, that's it. You could spend a little bit more time sanding it if you really wanted to, I haven't. But uh, for the purposes of what it is, yeah, it's good enough for the tutorial. Um, I'm also using, for this one, PLAPHA Dutch Orange <coughs> Color Fab Filament. So there you have it. And I use Color Fab for pretty much all my prints. Um, with the code there. Dutch Orange. <coughs> this one's black. This one's um, ultramarine blue, I think, and this is a, a previous Dutch orange one. These two, they're all. These two have been kind of slightly dremeled to try and get that hyper gloss look. This one's just been hand done in my previous video, which I don't know if I've posted. Anyway, that is the final product. All right, thanks for watching.